Hello, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to another Futmus video. This is day number seven of the Futmus SBCs. And as always, we have got another three players that are on your screens there uh, welcoming and joining us uh, in the Ultimate Team world. So, uh, we have... I've lost dynamic images. Let me quickly pop out the old screen and go back in. Hopefully they'll be there. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. Uh, no, they're not. Uh, well, <laughs> Zlatan Ibrahimovic is the first player today. 89 rated Ibra. Uh, so I'm not too sure what the old upgrades are on this. It looks like maybe plus one pace, plus one shooting, a few passing, a couple dribbling, stuff like that. So it's not the greatest of upgrades in the world. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping maybe for Christmas we could have got like a massive pace upgrade on Zlatan, make him a lot more usable again on the game. Uh, of course, six. 63 acceleration, 68 sprint speed, and 71 stamina. Not really going to do much for you there. 42 balance as well. Uh, maybe maybe he's just not the greatest on FIFA anymore. However, playing that guy in a cam spot with uh, with the shooting, passing, and dribbling stats that he's got, as well as 89 strength, at least you're going to be scoring some long shots and getting some nice assists with the 85 passing. Next up then, we have Timo Werner. And I'm pretty sure last night, a Brazilian Juve Timo Werner came out randomly. Uh, some people got him, but he has since been changed back to uh, the German Red Bull Leipzig, uh, just because obviously that would run them into some issues, I'm sure. And I think people got their money back who managed to complete him. So GG to you if you were able to complete Werner, um, because you got him for free, basically. Now, this one's going to cost you a fair bit, I think. He's got some decent in-game stats. We're talking, you know, a nice boost in the stamina to 81. Really, really good acceleration and sprint speed. Amazing attack positioning, finishing. Uh, yeah, he hasn't got great long shots, but, you know, he's sort of a fox in the box, right? So get inside that box, hit the low drivens, and you should be fine. Uh, and then, of course, we've got, like, good agility, good reactions, good ball control and dribbling. So Verna looks quite good, but he seems expensive. And then we have Munier, who is actually, like, he's already got an 84 rated in form. So I think if you had him... You've been screwed over a little bit because this one's got way better stats in my opinion. He, he's just so much more usable. This is likely the player that I'm going to be getting today simply because I think he'll be an amazing substitute at centre mid. He looks unreal to me. There is one red stat there in balance and his agility and free kick accuracy are the only other oranges. Really good stamina, good strength. I just think as a centre midfielder, we could have a pretty good player in, in Thomas Munier today. So, going to head on into the SBCs now and show you how to go ahead and complete them. Let's do that, shall we? Uh, Futmus. So, what we have got is... First one, Thomas Munier. I am going to be completing this one today because he seems to be around the, the 30 to 40,000 coin mark. Uh, now, I just put together some players that I thought thought would get chemistry together and kind of work. You do need one Belgian player, and I've gone for Mignolet there. Uh, you also need at least two players from the French League gun and a maximum of six players from the same league. So you got to sort of switch it up a little bit with this one. Uh, overall rating of 83, which is pretty low, and you need 80 chemistry and no informs or special items. So what I've done with this one is gone with a little bit of a Liverpool trio to get some chem in Mignolet, Matip and Klein. None of those players should really cost you much. Then we have 83s again, which won't cost you very much at all in Nani uh, and, oh, I've forgotten his name, De Vrij, that's it. Uh, Stefan De Vrij. We then move up to the Bundesliga for the left-hand side. Naby Keita, Forsberg and Timo Werner, you could use Mario Gomez or Stindl, whoever you got. Like, I'm just going to use Timo because he was the one in my club at the time. Uh, however, if I do have a Stindl, I might switch him out. Do I? Well, he'll be a centre forward, if anything, I guess. Uh, if I've got him, I'll use him. Or Cruz. Cruz works. It definitely took down my chemistry a lot, so I would recommend getting a Red Bull link there to get chem, because I do have loyalty on a few of these players, and of course, I'm now only one over. Uh, and then, just to get the, the rating and stuff up, we've used 283s from the French League on and 184. So there's 184 in this entire squad. The rest should be very, very cheap, uh, and I think that is a bargain today. I'm going to just wait until I've... 
I know that I've got a couple of players in a different squad, so I'm not going to complete him just yet. Timo Werner then, the German from Red Bull Leipzig. This is how I've decided to put the squad together. Uh, I think this is probably a, one of the good options, maybe. You do need an 85 rated squad, though, for him, and that seems really expensive. He's an 84 rated player. I know he's sort of overpowered and stuff, but it does seem a bit of a madness and very, very expensive. So uh, someone that I would be tempted with is no longer the case just because he's so goddamn expensive expensive uh, so you can only use a maximum of six players from one league and only three players from the same nation so that's where they're going to get you on this one uh, one special card or red foot champions card or no, i don't mean special card i mean inform you need a team of the week or a red foot champions player 85 overall with 75 chemistry so the squad i've put together here has got a trio of germans at the back uh, Leno is going to cost you a bit, maybe so is Horn, uh, but Sula should be okay. Uh, on the left-hand side, little strong link chemistry there at 285s to help bring the rating up from Atletico Madrid. This is where the, it's going to cost you a lot because you're going to need to use a lot of 85s and above. That's mad. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's absolutely insane. You know, we've got one, two, uh, and then 86, 87, and, well, a third 85 as well, of course, with Leno. So that is going to cost you a fair whack. Um... Moving on to the Premier League then, three players from the same nation. I've got Fabregas, David Silva, and Juan Mata getting a little triangle of chemistry there. Uh, and I do link back to the Premier League again using six players from the Prem in this squad. Uh, using Willian and a strong link to Edison, who's obviously not going to get much chem, but uh, it does help Willian. And you could, of course, use him as a right wing or a right forward, uh, a right mid, should I say, and you'll be fine with chemistry. And then I bought a Defoe the other day and still haven't used him, so that would be the inform that I would choose a little bit higher rated than the likes of Inform Reed that people tend to use quite a lot. So that's Timo Werner. And then moving on finally to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Big, beastly Zlatan. What have we put together for this squad right here? So, a minimum of four Premier League players. Of course, Zlatan playing for Man United. They've favoured a lot of Man United players in Footmas so far, which I'm sure has pleased a lot of you United fans. Maybe not so much the City and Liverpool fans of this world might not like all of the Man United players coming out in Futmus. Um, but I've gone for a couple of high-rated players from the French League on Subasic and Glick. That is a great strong link of 285, of course, the Monaco players. And then we've linked out to Danny Alves, who we're going to be replacing with Mounier very soon anyway. Uh, so I would happily get rid of him. Uh, but I do think this Ibra might be a little bit too expensive. He seems to be about the same price as... As Werner. Now, Werner's more usable on FIFA, but Zlatan's higher rated. So, not sure what to do yet. I'm going to complete Munier in today's SPC, but then maybe... Maybe go ahead and complete one of the other two uh, over the next 24 hours. Got to think about it a bit first. Miranda and Alex Tellez. Alex Tellez would be your inform for this particular squad. Um... So that is just a little bit of Brazilian link. They don't really get much chem. Probably, yeah, not much at all on, on each, but... You only need 70 overall. Moving into the midfield then, we've got two Red Bull players. This is why I didn't want to complete the Munier one earlier because I knew I'd used Navi Keita and also uh, Forsberg once again right there. Do you get more chem? You get a little bit more chem if you swap that around and play the cam at centre mid because uh, they're both on yellow links rather than, rather than one red. Uh, and then for my Prem players, I've gone for four Premier League players in Fabregas, Pedro, Morata, Diego Costa. The Spaniards of the Prem uh, have been pretty much vital for a lot of the Futmas SBCs along the way, uh, costing people quite a lot of coins that I know they go up in price and stuff, but it's a struggle to try and find a couple of 86s, a couple of 84s that all get nice strong links together and really help push that chemistry boundary for you today. Um, so that is how you could complete. You do need to put the one in form, by the way, uh, that I mentioned earlier, Alex Tellez. Uh, but 285 rated squads today. That's that's quite, quite nutty, to be fair. I, I don't know if that's particularly worth it. Maybe a lot of United fans, like would get Zlatan, uh, maybe the, the Bundesliga teams of you lot that you've got, maybe you could get Werner, but it seems like it's going to cost you a fortune for for 84 dribbling and 83 shooting. I don't know. I'm not convinced, not going to lie. So, Thomas Munier is the one that I'm going to get. It looks about 20 to well, 25 to 35k for this player, which I'm really happy with. He's got very, very good stats uh, for that, so we will go ahead and complete him now. Obviously, Belgian players are going to go up in price, uh, 
uh, especially the higher rated ones. I imagine like Ferreira Carrasco uh, might go up quite a bit, although he's a bit too high rated. Um, so the likes of someone someone like Mignolet might actually boom a little bit. So check your clubs if you're not doing these SBCs and you might get a little bit lucky. So let's go ahead and complete Thomas Mernier. I'll take it. Day number seven. I have got at least one every single day. And there is, of course, his dynamic image for those wondering. He'll come on and be a fantastic center mid on FIFA Ultimate Team. Uh, and let's just... Uh, I wonder if we can put him into a squad. or just take one last look at his in-game stats. There he is. A, the 79 dribbling lets him down a little bit. But even if you did bring him on as like a, a, a friggin... It's like right back. You could just bring him on in his actual position. Ah, uh, oh, I can't go ahead and make a squad. We'll just end it there, guys. Uh, I, I, I have a, a best team somewhere. It's this one. I wonder if he could fit in there right now. I've got a lot of Prem players, but I could switch it pretty quickly uh, to French League Gun. What am I doing? Come on. There we go. If we put Munio there. Now, obviously, he doesn't get enough chem, but... I could bring you here, you there, switch you to there, get rid of Herrera. I don't know who I could put up front. I'm lacking icons at this point, you know. Or, or I could go like this and play Deco. Deco at centre mid. There we go. Just just fill it with icons, lastly. That'll work. And we've able, we've been able to put Munier in the squad today. Uh, lots of good players in this team then. Uh, so there you go, guys. Day number seven of Futmus. Do me a favour and hit the thumbs up button if you found it useful. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.